Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is how to test your PCM, ECM in your Jeep TJ Wrangler. This may be helpful if you're doing an LS swap and you got into a situation where I did, where I reworked my harness and I plugged everything back in, but however, I had no communication with the scanner, the dash wasn't working properly, I, the gauges would not work, and this is how to troubleshoot the issue and how to figure it out. So I'm just gonna go through with you. You can see the sentry key went on and off. The mileage shows up, the gauges aren't working, which means something is wrong. One of the things you wanna check out first is go between pins four and five on your ECM plug and check the resistance. Those are your grounds. And if you have an issue there, you know where to look. So now, of course, if you had a ground issue, <clears throat> the harness grounds on mine, actually, there's two go to the body right there. So I got my multimeter. I got both connected pins, four and five. And I got continuity, which is good. So the first step, we confirmed the computer does not have a ground issue. I know the plug has power because when I plug my scanner in, it boots up. This is the issue that I'm dealing with. No communication is key on. Key is on, dash is lit up, plugged in, but no communication. Something's wrong. We need to go to the black plug. That's where we need. There's a few things we need to check. Pin number 32 is ground. We need to verify that. Pin number two is fuse ignition switch output should be a positive. Number 22 is fuse B plus. So now I'm going to use the best troubleshooting tool in the world, and that is the power probe. It is by far my favorite tool for troubleshooting. So we need to verify pin number 32 is indeed grounded. And I'm grounded. Pin 22 should be 12 volt. Close enough. What we want to check out is pin number two. Pin number two is showing me no voltage. That is an issue right there. I did pull apart the wiring harness and this is the wire right here. It's the blue and white one. This should be hooked up to a 12 volt source. So now I got a jumpered. Pin number two has power. Just plug this back in. I should be able to turn this on and everything will work. Sentry key's gone off. Staying off, which is good. I'm reading volts now, which I couldn't before. So now that's hooked up. See, we're communicating now. It's giving me all sorts of issues because everything's gutted out. See if your computer's fried. In the black harness right here, what you need to check out is pin number 17, which is an orange wire, should have five volts coming out. If you don't have five volts coming out, there is a definite issue. And also, I found my issue right here is, is I accidentally got rid of the other positive that I needed. But if you had no power to those two ports, you want to check, make sure that a fuse isn't blown, which is usually a pretty good cause. But if a fuse indeed did blow, you got to figure out why the fuse blow, because a fuse just doesn't blow just because it obviously shorted out. You need to figure out why, otherwise it's just going to keep coming back. So I hope you guys enjoyed the short video of me troubleshooting what I did to troubleshoot to figure out what was wrong with my computer. Because doing my LS swap, I want to use my factory gauges. In the future, I might gut them all out and put aftermarket ones in. But for right now, I want to do the swap and show people what to do. And of course, every issue that comes about... I'm going to do a video on it and show you, okay, this is what's happening. This is what I did, and this is what I did to fix it. 
If you haven't subscribed before to my channel, do it because there's a whole bunch of videos doing this LS swap, going through completely everything. If you watch this video series, you should be able to get the knowledge on what I did, the mistakes I did, what you shouldn't do and what to do. And anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll talk to you later.